Hi, this is Sharon Markowski, and this is my journal for the August swap for your paper pantry. This is about Jane Eyre, and we were to choose a fictional character that we admired and that we would make a book about her or a journal about her for to exchange with someone uh, that belongs to your pa paper pantry. I used a cardboard cloth covered uh, binding that Tim Holtz has put out and then when I bound the book I didn't like all of the um, strings and ribbons and stuff that I tried to do to make it look nice so I just simply covered it with this beautiful lace from Sufafa. I also used that a piece of that lace for underneath all this jewelry and keys and stuff just to um, depict that era of time and there is a locket with Edward and Jane on here and I have a key and uh, another uh, cameo on here and it just winds around the uh, the chain does and the pearls just wind around and then there's also um, a stick pen that I made and uh, I kind of like the way that turned out, so it's no title, just just that. Then on the inside of the book, I have a title page from the 1943 edition, and this is, I believe, a picture of Charlotte Bronte. Put a little lace in here. Now this album is an envelope album, so that means I have um, kept it open on one end so that I can put a, a, a sliding. Um, four page book for uh, either journaling or uh, pasting pictures on or whatever that anyone wants to do with it uh, when they receive it. <clears throat> then all those pages that I dyed with coffee are in this book and what I did with the pages is that I wrote on them in brown ink so that it looks like an old journal, handwritten journal, and on each page, on most of the pages I put uh, a quote from the book and some pictures that I found on the internet. Now this is where Jane as a young girl is standing in front of all her peers being shamed by the headmaster. Um, I loved her resiliency as a young child. And see, this is all handwritten. And then this is joined together with an other envelope that I sew, hand sewn onto the envelopes. And here's another uh, end of that one section. And what I did here was I cut out a, a teacup out of paper and then a doily behind and then I mounted it on foam dots and put a tea bag in there for, for the enjoyment while reading. And here is another pullout that I made. This pullout has like the gothic fence from Martha Stewart uh, edging and then um, some more places for journaling or pictures. I wanted to show you how I bound this book. I put the three holes in and I brought it up through the back and went down, back, up, and down, and then I tied it in the back. So it was an, a, simple, um, a simple binding, but yet... Um, Little, um, little tricky working it out with putting the envelopes with them. So, and then uh, here's a, here's the end of that section with the envelope, and then here is where the envelopes come together. So I put um, some colored paper and some um, nice little envelopes for for uh, tucking in tags, um, more pictures and binding. And this paper just lends itself for an old looking book. Um, this was sent to me on my last swap. And then on this section of these papers, I found on the internet a short version of the story of Jane Eyre. So I copied that in, uh, on my printer and uh, made it look like old handwriting. And this paper that I used to print on 
came from Amazon, and it's it's really old looking paper, and I've not I've had it in my collection, and I finally used it, and it's great for what I wanted it for. And here is a uh, inkwell and feather that came, and uh, this book is now finished, and it just took me a while just to figure out how I wanted to put this together, and how I wanted it to to pass the muster, I guess, with all you folks out there. So I hope you enjoyed it, and um, let me know if you did, and uh, it's going in the mail tomorrow.